Hey everybody, I want to show you a fun way to add some percussion using just the kick drum and some effects. I'm going to grab a filter delay and throw it right after this 909 kick. Get all this crazy filtering here. I'm going to put this on just the very highest frequencies. We've got it on 3 sixteenths and every 5th sixteenth. And I'm also just going to put a little bit of the uh, beat offset going on here just so we get a slightly swung delay, right? So we got like almost like percussion going on. Now what we can do is I'm going to create a new audio track and on this audio track I'm going to put this filter delay and I'm going to have the audio track listening to my 909 kick right there. We'll set it to input monitoring and now the, we can control the volume of that percussion with just this track which is pretty cool. Nice way to get some percussion nice and easy. Um, we can take this a step further. I'm going to create another audio track and have this track listen to the percussion track I just set up. So it's listening to here and I'm going to just record this so that I can get those percussion sounds onto an audio clip now. So now I don't need this track anymore with the filter delay. So I can just delete that and I've got all this coming on here. Now what we can then do is we will right click on this and we're going to select convert drums to new MIDI tracks. So I'm going to convert what I just made to a new MIDI track which will give us some more percussion. So now I've got like right now a little hi-hat pattern. Now maybe I don't really like that particular sound. I can go inside of my drums here and maybe I'll grab something from these time and timbre kits. Just kind of randomly grabbing something to see what we'll get. And it does take a second to load. And now we've sort of got like a shakery kind of sound. It's kind of cool and again you can just go like right inside your uh that might not be a good one but we can grab pretty much anything from our library and now we've got like some cool percussion so this is a really cool tip um if you want to take that even a step further try doing something like converting that uh that original filter delay to melody so we'll convert this to melody so we can bring that old one back into let's turn this one back in so we get all this different percussion bring this down a little bit and now I can play this and uh, it's maybe not the most beautiful sound but um, again it's just giving us some ideas we can use we might drop in a compressor just to sidechain this to our kick drum which I'll do right here select the input so that's again our 909 and um, there you have it it's a, a kind of quick and dirty way to add like different sounds and percussion to your uh, music just using the filter delay and a kick drum so I hope that helps you guys out have fun and enjoy